Just Robin. She'll be here soon. Mm -hmm. oh, he's moving. I'm not in charge yeah. Not that I was in charge of one before. But yeah, that's right. Okay. Thank, thank, thank you, councillors and Mr. Me. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, welcome everybody to our Community and Environmental Services Committee meeting on the 13th, uh, Wednesday, the 13th of July. Um, welcome, Ned. I see you're on Zoom there. Can you hear me all right? Cool, thank you very much. Right, um, first of all, I'd like to start on page seven, which is the apologies. Uh, we have an apology from uh, Joe Howard, and we also have one for lateness from Robin Nahr. Do we have any other apologies? No. Can I have a mover and a seconder, please? Thank you, Rosalie. Thank you, Deputy Mayor Sharon. All those in favor? Against, carried. Thank you. Uh, agenda item number two, we have members' interests. Um, do any councillors have um, any interest in any of the items that are on the agenda there? No? You're looking at me, at me as I should. I'm not sure, because <laughs> of the, um, being honest, the uh, community led revitalisation no. projects. Right? No. No. Oh, I have yeah. But that's only putting on. This is only a report. Information, yeah. information report. Okay. So no, no members' interest? Can I have a motion and a seconder, please? Thank you, um, Mr. Second. Mayor. Thank you, JB. Mm -hmm. All those in favour? Okay. Number three is a confirmation of minutes of the meeting of the 11th of May of the um, uh, SEC meeting that day. Are there any alterations or anything that anybody would like to discuss that was on those meetings? No? All right, so can I please have a mover and a seconder, please, that they are true and correct? Thank you, Sharon. I'll second it. All those in favour? All, right. All right. right. Against? Carried. Thank you very much. Action points. Um, Item number four. So we have an action point list here. Um, Chrissy has added some um, notes over on the right hand side. Would you like to talk to any of the action points that need? We've got a few there. Thank you. Um, Chair, um, just a few updates were um, circulated before the meeting as requested. Um, did speak to some of the councillors just to make sure that um, the points that were sent across covered off what was requested. Um, haven't had anything back, but happy to take questions on any of the items on the action point list. So um, on page 16, we have 0010. We're um, going to be talking about that tonight at five o'clock. Um, 0011 is actually item six there today. So we'll be dealing with it then. Is there any other, anything anybody would like to discuss? Councillor Rutherford. Yeah, thanks, uh, Madam Chair. What did you say about 0010? Are we dealing with, we're having a um, senior housing committee meeting uh, after the SEC meeting tonight. So it'll be at five o'clock this afternoon. And those items on that we already discussed at that. Because it's got July 23 over on the side. Um, so that's all we'll be talking about that after this meeting. Which potentially will be coming back to SEC at the next meeting, which is in... Um, with that specific one, so that's going to be an ongoing because the um, development alternative operating plan for senior housing, um, as said in the notes, is going to be quite a long term um, goal. So what we'll be doing in the steering group that we have um, every other month, um, pre or prior to CISC, is just have an update on the progress. There'll be a report coming to full council at the end of the month with a full update there, but the expiry date for that has been pushed out accordingly, just to note that it is an ongoing project um, and not to have an expiry at the end of each CESC meeting. 
It's just a verification of why we've got making a set for those just on the blue part. Correct. Correct. Yeah. 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 Does that include the public excluded bit? No, that's obviously including that. Public excluded. It's public excluded. Yeah, but I mean, that's seen out. Yeah. yeah. Can I have a motion on the table, please, that the uh, action points be accepted? Thank you, Councillor Rutherford. The seconder, JB. All those in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carried. Thank you. Number five is the CEO pre election report. Now, it's a, um, a reasonably extensive report that goes out to the um, public uh, coming up to the general elections, or sorry, the council elections in. Yeah, in October. Um, I know the report was, was prepared by Rod. Have you got anything to add to that? Either um, Chrissy or Rachel? Yeah, Rachel. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm to that. The Sheriff just said to disappear. So the pre election report is something the Local Government Act requires the Chief Executive to produce prior to each triennial council election. There is a standard and statutory that has to be in the report, which is covered off in the report that the Chief do in diligence. Uh, this has been presented to councillors uh, for all information. This is an operational staff report that this is government's input into it. And once it's been received the information today, it will be made publicly available to people who are considering standard for council and appointment. <coughs> councillor Weston, then councillor Rudd. I'm just going to move the recommendation, thanks. Uh, yeah, for the chair. Uh, yeah, I noticed on page 40 just a typo, it hasn't got a date in front of all this. But it has further room. Yeah, we have made that up. That's one of the little amendments we'll be making. I have a mover, Councillor Rutherford. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll second up. I think I do have a question as to where is this going to be distributed? Is there going to be hard copies around people to pick up or just. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll distribute it um, right across the district to some, put some of our sites. Um, and in the walls library, and um, I will also offer it online as well. And um, when it goes out online to the, the links to the documents in the back of the box. Okay. Are there any other questions? Um, just to just so the council knows that the top of the page, page 18, it should have actually said that it report on the files. With council strategy, you see down in the 2021 to 2031 long term plan. I think long term plan is prior to that. So, the best you want to do is for it. Got that? Okay, thank you. So, we have uh, the mover is Councillor Rutherford, seconder is uh, Councillor Sampson. Um, all those in favour? Aye. Aye. Against? Carried. Thank you. Uh, agenda item number six is the community led revitalization fund progress and completion reports. Um, this is a report from each of these organizations uh, that has been put together. Chrissy, do you have anything to add to that on behalf of Myra? Or? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just a um, continuous improvement. Mia has been working on the progress reports to make sure that um, just adds in that accountability for our community groups and so that council can see the progress of the grants that come up. I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you. Councillors, do you have any questions on any of these reports? Were any items in there? Or... Um, I'd just right. like to acknowledge the, the uh, great efforts that the Capitalist Community Group have put in mm. to achieve that. Um, and it is good to see these reports. One, one just way um, going forward that would make it a little bit easier to read as a council might be just to cover sheets. I know that there is listed the names, but it would be quite good to know was this an interim or final report? And um, if I need to decide that it did it, what was the original budget and where they at with that? Just, I just saw one, a one page overview would have been quite helpful, but the suit, having said that, certainly had a, a much of an improvement on um, the accountabilities. So, um, good work all around. Thank you, yep. Well done. Councillor. Thank you. So, is this all of the Outstanding community-led revitalisation funds. 
or there or there was some of that happened with one. These are the ones that we received. So what what does one do about ones that haven't? Through the chair. Through. Um, thank you, Councillor. Um, NEDA follows up with each of the groups. Um, so this is a fairly new thing that we've introduced. Um, so she is in contact with them. Um, the team is um, fully staffed now. So that's something that we endeavour to um, continue the communication increase in future um, and make sure that they know how to put the report together, what it's looking like. So there's no fear around that report writing. Thank you. So, okay, well then, supplementary. The, um, how many might there still be to fill up? I can get back to you with a, um, a number. I don't want to have around. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Um, welcome, Robin. Thank you. Okay. Should we just note that Robin's arrived at the Robert Can I please have a mover and a seconder, please, for these reports? Thank you, Councillor Weston. Uh, as mover and a seconder is myself. Those in favour? Yeah. Against? Carried. Item number seven is the Development West Coast Economic Stimulus Funding Report for the grants and loans administered by the Council. Um, this has been running for a number of years, and uh, we have three recommendations here, one, two, one and two. Hello, Chrissy. So Lynn, Lynn Brooks is online to, um, to speak to this report. Are you there, Lynn? Thank you, Madam. Yes, I'm here to talk to this report and get some support if needed. Um, the... The, as you rightly say, this has been going on for quite a number of years, and the the committee has asked that a report be brought back to summarise the position of the final funds. Now that the loan that was extended to one rate, uh, to one recipient has now been fully repaid, so this is a really good news story where there's an opportunity to advertise at a further 148,600 is available. That's been absolutely confirmed and approved by DWC. So that this could be going out to um, our community to promote this in the next very short while. And the recommendation suggests that the um, review of applications paper would be brought back to the committee at the next meeting on the 9th of November for consideration. So that would be a um, re reasonably rapid time frame, but it would actually clean up this um, remaining fund and give a lot of opportunity to our community that's in a position to seek looking for those funds. Okay, thank you, Lynn. Um, Councillors, do you have any questions for um, either for Lynn or um, Chrissy in relation to this? Um, Councillor Rutherford. Thanks, Madam Chair. So, Lynn, it's full. Um, Am I right in thinking that there is no further actual loans out, out, out there that are yet to be repaid? So the amount of 75,000 is, that's it, done and dusted? Yes, through the Chair, that, that is correct, um, Councillor Rutherford. The loans have been um, repaid. There was one um, amount of $10,000 that was expected to be a grant that was supposed to, sorry, a loan that was supposed to convert to a grant. That's been the only one out of all of the $1 million distribution that hasn't come to fruition. And that DWC are prepared to say, there's no way we've ever received that. So there's just a small amount that's been foregone. So 148, 600 is remaining. Thank you. Any other questions or for clarification, councillors? No? Okay. Um, so we have a, a recommendation here. So there's numbers one and two. I'd like to pass them both at the same time. Can I have a mover and a seconder, please? Thank you, Councillor Roach. Thank you, Councillor Ma. So the first one is uh, approve a two-month promotion period to advertise for 148,600 is available for distribution relating to the economic stimulus fund under the terms of the agreement with DWC and the review of the applications paper shall be set before the Council on the 9th of November, uh, which will be the new Council, uh, for consideration. All those in favour? Against? 
carried. Thank you. These are grants, by the way. Um, agenda item number eight is the property rationalisation project. Now, the staff have put, I think, a lot of hours into this um, to get to a uh, reasonably comprehensive paper. The information is there on the properties that they have highlighted. Um, Chrissy, would you like to speak to this? Thank you, Madam Chair. This is a really exciting point. I'm pleased to bring to you an update with the property rationalisation project that we're just about to go out to market with a few of the properties. Um, those listed on the red, amber and green chart that's been put together in front of you just shows exactly where they're at. All of those properties have been given the, um, have been agreed to dispose of by yourself, subject to legal advice. Um, there's a few points on a few properties that we're still going through, but it gives you the summary of exactly what's gone on. Um, there's some mention further in the report about some hail sites, and we're just confirming the um, legal wording and the, make sure that there's no further liability to come back to council in the future. Um, but it's been set out in a hopefully an easy to read report, happy to take feedback or questions. Councillors, does anybody have any questions in relation to the report? So this is not all of the um, properties that we agreed to over the last couple of meetings. There's still a few to work, being worked on. Through the chair, um, thank you, Councillor. There's a number of um, properties that we're still working through the legal advice. There's some that we have to seek approval from ministers. So um, there's holdups, unfortunately, just through um, paperwork going back and forth. But with the good news is we've got a, a handful of properties that we're ready to put on the market that you'll be able to see up soon. The green ones. The green ones. They'll be the green ones, yeah. So it's the green ones on this report. They're the ones that are ready for sale right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A mover a seconder, please, at the... Um... Um, Margaret? Yes, sorry, Ned, my apologies. So could you send me through a copy of those, please? Yep, absolutely, Ned. Happy to. Uh, uh, to my work, uh, my work email, please. Yep, thank you, Councillor. Okay. Anything else? Robin, you've got that. I'm just curious about why you need to copy the notes. Yeah. 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 Do I? No, no. You talk about Pesca Street. So, not here. The, yeah. Sorry. Who's the deep, I think? Through the chair, it's, oh, it's on the sorry. report. Sorry. The report. I, it's, not, it's not material, but I just thought you might. No, no, no. no. I didn't Sorry. see it there. I've never seen it described as Wooding Street. <laughs> um, but kind of retrospectively, we declare a conflict of interest in um, property number five. Thank you, Councillor Bertram. Apologies. Thank you. I'm going to refer to it as Wooding Street. <laughs> so the recommendation is that the uh, committee receive this report for information. I have a mover and a seconder, please. Thank you, Councillor Nahr. Seconded, Mr Mayor. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. Against, carried. Thank you. Uh, item number nine is that we go into uh, public excluded through the reasons here on the right-hand side um, in relation to item number 15 here, which is senior housing. Can I have a motion, please, that we go into... Thank you very much, Councillor Rutherford. Seconded. Councillor Weston. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. Against? Carried. So we'll keep you online there, Ned, and we will be going... Ending the live stream. Ending the live stream.